It's time to play... What's the word? Oh, I think the word is entertainment. Wait, is that not it? Welcome back, everyone. It's me, Jack, live for the Monkey House, and that's right. Scrambled Mags has once again put me at a disadvantage. Uh, right now, if you look down at your SiriusXM receiver, you should see, everyone, that there is a secret word or phrase uh, transmitted right there on the screen of your SiriusXM display. Uh, maybe not, though, if you're listening on a smart speaker or on a cell phone. Uh, audience, we got to give it up for Scrambled Mags. She did it again. <laughs> She sent a secret message out and somehow managed to omit me from the uh, feedback loop. Scrambled makes this game would be so much easier if you gave me that message. Well, if you're not going to tell me, then I'm going to have to find out with the clues of our next contestant. That's how this game works. They're going to give me the clues that I need to figure out this secret word or phrase in a minute or less. Let's meet him now. Audience, put your paws together for Natalie! Hello! Hello, Natalie! How are you? Good. Great, I'm so happy you're here. Uh, one question, Natalie. Why is your home state of Missouri abbreviated M-O, like Mo? Was there someone named Mo in Missouri history? Do you know? I don't really know. I'm only in second grade, so I don't really know. Okay, well, get on that. That, that would be a good third grade research project. I don't know, maybe like Mo from the Three Stooges was somehow uh, integral into the <laughs> incorporation of Missouri as a state. I'd love to know. And I want to know uh, Curly and uh, the, the other one, uh, which ones, uh, which states they founded. Uh, okay, second question, Natalie, do you know the secret word or phrase? Huh? Y you Sorry. know the secret Oh, no problem. Do you know the secret word or phrase that Scrambled Megs is sending to yeah. everyone? You do? Yeah. And is it right there in front of you on the screen? Can you see it there? Yep. Okay. And could you just tell me what that is, please, so you can save us all a lot of time? Nope. I can't oh. tell you. Oh, I thought, I, you said yes so many times in a row, I thought you would just get caught in a loop of saying yes, and I'd trick you into saying yes to that one, too. Oh, but you're too clever for that, Natalie. I guess we got to earn this the old-fashioned way. I'm going to say on your marks, get set, go. When I say go, give me your first clue. And remember, you can't use, like, the actual word or any parts of that word in your clues. But you can use other words to describe it, and hopefully we'll get it together. Are you feeling confident right now, Natalie? Yep. Okay, that makes one of us. I am very much not feeling confident. We haven't played this game for a while, and uh, I, my hands are literally shaking right now. <laughs> okay, here we go, Natalie. On your marks. Get set. Go! So it's something that you eat for breakfast. Oh, something I eat for breakfast. Uh, oh, man. Is it cold pizza? No. That's what I had for breakfast this morning. Okay, give me another hit, Natalie. You put syrup on top of it. Oh, definitely not cold pizza, although chocolate syrup on that would be pretty good. Okay, so this is a breakfast food that needs syrup. I can think of a bunch of those. Uh, give me another hit, Natalie. I think we're closing in on this thing really quickly. You spread butter on top of it. Butter. Do you do the butter before the syrup? Yeah, you do the butter before I lift your up. Okay. Um, let me ask you a question. What shape is this thing? It's circled. Okay, it's, okay, so it's not French toast. Wait, is it French toast on, like, a really clever round piece of bread? No, it's not French toast. Oh, that would have been good. Um, okay, something circular. Give me, uh, let's, let's go with the texture hints. How would you describe the texture of this item, Natalie? It's soft. And you can, it's really fluffy. Soft and fluffy, okay. So I'm taking it this is not a waffle. Is that true? It's not a waffle. Is it a pancake? Yes. Is that the end? Oh, there's the audience. The audience came through as the arbiters of truth. Oh, the answer was pancakes. Wait a minute. I even suggested that earlier, and I totally forgot that I even said it. <laughs> Natalie, are you a pancake fan? I love pancakes. I usually, whenever my dad makes pancakes, I usually eat like four or five. No kidding. Wow. So your your dad is like a serious pancake maker is what you're saying. Yep. 
Is, is he the kind of pancake maker where he's got a holster that he keeps his, like, pancake flippers in, and he has, like, he, like, spins them around in his hand before he <laughs> flips the pancakes? Does he take it that seriously? Probably not. Well, listen, hey, if you're... Uh, next birthday or next holiday that's coming around and you're looking for a good present for your dad, I'm just telling you, you could go worse. You could do worse than that. Like a holster and a couple of matching spatulas, one on each side, like pancake flippers, so he can pull them out and spin them around and put them back down like a, you know, a quick draw back in the Old West. That would be a good present, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, I'll think it over. Uh, and I'll, I give you my total permission for that. Well, you did it, Natalie. You got us to the finish line audience. The answer was pancakes. What a delicious part of a balanced game. Speaking pancakes.